Well, folks, that right there is the very first time that I've used the Piranha Pro tooth bar for cutting trails like that. Up until this point, I did a little bit of dirt work. You would have seen it in one of my previous videos. I did a bit of an installation, but I've never used it for cutting small uh, branches, small shrubs, moving around uh, debris like I did there. So that ended up working very well for me. I found that the serrated edge here on the Piranha Pro, so on this uh, B Expanded Tooth Bar, I found it cuts that that uh, little debris, those spruce, and we had some uh, poplar in there. I took down a maple or two. I think there was even a white pine. Uh, cutting those was very, very easy with this thing. And that was my hope. My hope was I could put the bucket on here. I could uh, basically put it down at ground level and it would shear off those small pieces. Now, the good thing is once it got bigger, instead of just shearing it off, it actually started to dig it up at the roots. And that's, uh, that's a nice thing as well. You can get that root ball up and out of there. Once it lifted it up, you saw I was able to move it off to the side of the trail without too much trouble. So that is uh, turning out to be a really great addition. Up till this point, I didn't have much in the way of trail breaking equipment. Now I have used a root rake before. And if you've seen previous videos, the root rake is really good because it has the grapple uh, on it. And so I can uh, pick things up. The trouble with it is there's spaces. So there's spaces in between the bottom tines on that root rake. And so it works great at picking up debris, but it, uh, it does allow sometimes the debris to slide through. And obviously you don't want it to slide through because it could hit my tractor. And so having the bucket is quite nice that way, especially when there's um, you know a lot of dirt work as well and not a lot of grapple work. This tends to be my pick. And uh, as you can see, just the poplars right here as well, it just as well, you can, Take a look here it just shears them right off which is quite nice some of the bigger stuff as i said it pushes them and uh some of these small spruce which i tend to have everywhere you can see what happened here so it looks like the tooth bar it started to cut in and then it grabbed onto it and because the roots are not all that strong on it instead of uh, cutting through it it just pulled the roots right out and that did it on a number of uh on a number of spruce through here now let's just see the trail we made and as i said before this trail used to look like that and well it's quite a bit different now and it didn't take that long which was nice i didn't uh i didn't start this trail until today so it's kind of crazy to think that i probably put an hour in here i don't know maybe an hour and a half uh in total and so that's not much at all now if you look here all the uh, big stuff's out of the way we had a big dead standing white pine there and uh, I'm not going to lie here on camera. I did notch that thing before I pushed it over. If you looked at it and wondered why the, uh, the piece that fell had a notch cut out of it, that's because I did notch it with the chainsaw. Uh, sometimes when you get these big dead standing trees, if you put a lot of pressure on it with the tractor, what happens is if it doesn't start to break immediately and it comes back at you, when it boomerangs back at you, that's just enough force at the top where it breaks the top off and then it falls on the tractor. So when it gets big like this, and I know it probably won't just push over, I'll notch it with the chainsaw just so I make sure it doesn't swing back at me and break that top off. Anyways, got that out of the way. There's a one stump in here that I'm going to have to take care of. And it was on that dead white pine. You can see it right there. So I'll get back in here and take care of that. But that was very easy. Just put the bucket down, got uh, stuff moved out of the way. It was also nice having the bucket because you can pick stuff up and then you can move it off to the edge of the trail like I did in this case. And if we make our way down here, you can see I'll probably come back through maybe a time or two more and smooth this out. Maybe use some of my other equipment to do that as well. But it uh, gave me a really nice trail like all the way up that way. If we look back here, that's a beautiful thing. And having the ability to make trails in sort of dense bush like this is quite nice. Because I don't want to get out here and start hauling logs by hand if I don't have to. If I can just sit in the tractor cab with the sludge roo, I'll do it. Have a look up here. Just a little bit more dirt work to take care of. And you can see we came out to another trail right up here. I'll just come through with the bucket one more time, knock these high spots down. But uh, very easy, pushed everything out of the way. Very, very happy. I uh, was looking for something like that tooth bar for a long time that would help me expand the uses of that bucket. And uh, it certainly has done that. A bucket without a tooth bar like that, it's not gonna 
it's not going to cut anything like these little branches it's going to push stuff but that's about all it's going to do it's not going to dig in with that serrated edge and move it out of the way so overall very happy i've got lots more trails that i want to put in here winter is here or at least it's almost here it's snowed already so i got to get uh, get down to it otherwise i'm going to get snowed in before i get the work done so that's it for me here today that right there on the tractor is the be expanded piranha pro tooth bar check out the video at the end of this one to see the installation and my first thoughts but overall so far so good come on back next time i'll be sure to be out here making more trails or splitting some wood or sawing some lumber you guys all take care out there make sure you subscribe and i'll see you next time